Hey everybody, it's Blue Turn, I'm playing some more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time, we freed the spirit of Da Money and got a mask room. The mask of a Goron, and now we are literally a Gor Goron. So let's read this. The Goron hero Da Money, the third, rests here. In honor of a great hero, this uh, memorial is inscribed with the knowledge of, the, of a great hero. We will read the knowledge in part imparted by the hero. Techniques for action. O oh, chosen Goron hero, your power to lift objects without effort is mightier than the strength of any other. And your heart is strong enough too, as it is filled with compassion that is kinder than any other. Goron heroes press A and control stick so they, they, um, they may curl up and roll wherever it is they may need to go. If Gorons who possess magic power roll swiftly enough, spikes will emerge from their bodies so they c uh, that they may mow down enemies. Water is dis uh, disastrous for Goron heroes, for they sink like stones and are rendered motionless in the deep. Beware. Okay, let's read this again. And this time we're going to read for battle. The powerful punch that Goron heroes unleash by pressing B is feared by all. By repeatedly pressing B, Goron heroes will deal out a barrage of punches. After pressing A to curl up, a Goron can jump with B and land with quaking impact that is so mighty it can flatten enemies. Okay, well, uh, I believe now I want to pull the statue or gravestone out of the way. And that should release the spring water that was here before. At least the sp before, as in mentioned by uh, the Goron outside, so. Uh, but anyway, I want to actually put that mask back on. And I guess now I should grab some of this hot spring water. I can use this to open up the place, the the smithy place, but I can't really, I don't want to do that yet, so, and that will also be unlocked automatically later on by doing some other stuff. I'm also not going to save the Goron here because I'd like to just leave him like that for a bit longer. You, you're, no, no, you're not. The great Damani, are you? Then, just whose grave was I making? Did you come back to life because it was uh, so warm beneath your grave? Uh, I guess you could say that. Also, I don't want to jump off of here as a Goron, because if you fall into the water as a Goron, you will, uh, you'll sink and, you know, respawn at the last entrance you came through. But anyway, let's go back to the Goron village. And also, we can, if we spin it for long enough, as it said, we can actually have spikes come out of us. And we also go faster, so. We can also now, as a Goron, punch very strongly, and it's enough to break some stronger stuff that you usually need bombs for. But anyway... I want to get over to that frozen thing over here as quickly as possible because this uh, spring water, hot spring water, will not be hot hot for long, especially not on a cold mountain. So let's try to use it to melt this ice, which is pretty nice. And let's jump down here. Down here is some more hot spring water, so I'm going to get some of this and then I'm going to go straight back out again and do some more stuff. Okay, let's go. 
Now, it's funny because I've actually passed where you actually need it for, so... I'm gonna actually turn into a Goron again. And I'm gonna spin my way down here. I'm gonna believe. Right here. In this rock, or is it... No. Uh... In this rock? Nope. Uh... In this rock? Nope. I've failed miserably at this so far. One of these rocks, which I believe Tata will go to, has this Goron in it. And I want to free this Goron, so... Let's do that. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done this just yet, but anyway. I want to point out that he's here, so... Hello, sir. Can I speak to you? Huh? What was I doing? Ah, it's already this late. I must hurry. Ah, uh, hello? Huh? Oh, you're Damani. But you're supposed to be dead. Am I hallucinating? Maybe this is also the pat doing of the uh, Snowhead's magic power. Humph. I've been made a fool of. But that's impossible. I refuse to flinch. If I can see past the illusion, you will vanish in an instant. Well, okay. Have fun with that. We can roll up this surface. But that's all he wants to say to us right now. So, instead of continuing with that, I'm going to go back into the uh, Guron village area. And I want to talk to this Goron over here now. Because I believe, if I talk to him, it's cold. Being the gatekeeper in this cold is hard. Do you want to enter the Goron Shrine? Yes, I do. Then I'll open the door with a ground... Goron Pound. <laughs> ground Pound. I'm going to close it right away so it doesn't get cold inside. So hurry up and get in. Are you ready? Yes, I am. <coughs> so by doing his Goron Smash thing, it opens the door. The door's already open. I'm going to close it right away, so hurry up. We can also do this move by curling up and pressing A as a Goron. So we don't actually need to talk to him to open it, but I wanted to show you could do that. But anyway, the Goron Shrine. And we can hear this horrible noise. And all the Gorons are annoyed by it as well, so we better go find out what it is. Well, if we continue right over this way, we should get to where we're going. You can see this, uh, grown child is crying. Oh, daddy, daddy, oh, I'm cold, daddy. Okay, then. Well, uh, do you have anything to say? Oh, I can feel it pounding in the back of my head. And what do you have to say? We're at our wit's end. The Elder went to Snowhead and doesn't seem to be coming back now. Uh, his son is so lonely that he can't stop crying. It keeps getting colder outside and inside we're so cold we could freeze. Okay, well that's some interesting information. And is there a thing in here? No, not yet. Okay, I'll come back, back to that. But anyway, for now, we should go back to that old man. And also, yeah, I don't know what's going on right now. I feel like I'm going faster than I should be, but anyway. So let's go back to that Goron, which I believe will have frozen over by the time we get back there, so... Uh, but anyway, I'm going to turn into a Goron just here as well. Let's roll up here. Now, has this hole frozen over? No, it hasn't. And, yep, the other guy, is, the other Goron has frozen over. Don't you hate it when you get frozen over? Like, you're just doing your own business and then you just get frozen in a huge chunk of ice. Happens all the time, especially in countries like the one I live in where it never snows anyway. Uh, yes, so common. Anyway, let's release him again. And let's let you out. Now, hello. Huh? What was I doing? Ah, it's already this late, I'm sorry. <coughs> no matter how long you follow me, it's not going to do you any good. What? My son is crying because he misses me. Why do you know that? My son misses me. Oh, forgive me, my child. Your father has his work to do. Damani, be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination, no longer, I no longer care. 
If you feel pity for my crying son, then please quietly sing my son to sleep with this song I am about to play on my drum. It is a v the very same melody that was often played for you when you were young. How does this song go? Huh? Let me play it once more. How does this song go? Um... Ah, yes, yes, like this. It's no good, I can't remember the... Uh, I can only remember the beginning. <clears throat> I'll just teach you the beginning. You learn the lullaby intro. The soothing melody of a, a thoughtful father. It's not that I forgot it, it's just so cold that I can't play very well. At any rate, I am counting on you. Well, let's go back up the mountain. And by that, I mean by up this hill and across this bridge. It's not really a mountain, but anyway. But anyway, let's pound. And let's go in. Oh my goodness, I'm out of control. Anyway, let's get out our humble drums. Let's play it for this Goron child. Yeah. The, that song, that's the song Daddy always plays for me before I go to sleep. I'll sing the next part. Uh, it's just like daddy's right beside me. The lullaby intro became the Goron's lullaby. This lullaby, l <laughs> lullaby, lullaby blankets listeners in calm while waking eyelids grow heavy. Wow, that worked really well. Well, anyway, these torches are now lit, so I wanna wanna use them to my advantage here. And I wanna light up all the torches I can find. So let's get you. Let's get you. Let's get you. 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 And you two, please. And then, I want to try and get these last three. And just like that, they're all lit. Causing the chandelier thing to spin. <coughs> so, now that that's done, I want to head back up there. 
my goodness, speed! I have a need for speed! Oh dear. And I want to go back in here. And if I can break these pots and get some magic, possibly. There we go. I want to go look the other right way. And let's spin as fast as we can along this runway. And let's try to get a pot. Oh, I missed them all. Well, that worked. I am good at fidget game. Fidget gam. I am the gamma. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Broke one. Nothing happened. Let's try that again. There's several up there, so... Something's bound to happen. Oh dear. I should probably head back. Actually, I think if I go into this other room, it's actually gonna work a lot better. If I am correct. Uh, that... no. Okay, then. Okay, uh, let's try that again, 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 again. Okay, let me time this better. No. And... Go! We said it! Okay, I broke it, but nothing happened. Okay. Let's go again, 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 again. Okay, here we go. Go, 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 Ah, another one broken, nothing happened. Okay, there are two left up there, I believe. I just need to hit one of them, probably. Please hit it. There we go! Chunk of meat like stuff came out. I probably wouldn't want to eat this, but anyway, let's take it somewhere. So, let's go on an adventure with the meat. Uh, let's see, which way do I want to go? This way. Okay, well, we need to take this to a very specific location, which I don't think I noted uh, when I first saw it, which I probably should have because I think it gives some different text. But it should be fine to me for me to just take it to the right place now. <clears throat> so let's, yeah walk to where we need to go. You can throw it and then like roll up surfaces that it's up on top of already. But I'm just gonna walk there since I can. So, we need to go over this way. Right into the next area. And, I want to go over to the waterfall area thing, where that Goron was at least. Right over here, we saw him when we first entered the area. Where is he? There he is. And, I guess... Whoa! Up here, up here. So I believe... Uh, I'm so sorry to bother you from such a high place. But I am very hungry and I've gotten stuck here. So yeah, I think it was going to say at some other point that it was so cold he couldn't move. That that's it. It's so good that I dream uh, that I dream about it. Dodongo's Caverns finest quality rock sirloin. This is my absolute favorite blessed uh, be this meal. And sorry, gruesomely eats that on top of there. Oh, my energy has returned to me. I'm counting, uh, coming down now. Wait one moment. Oh, I wondered who it might be. Why, if it isn't Darmani. You are alive? 
Yes, I see. That is the reason why you knew my favorite food. Oh, I almost forgot. Please, accept this as a token of gratitude. And for that, he gives us... Don Goro's mask. It looks just like Don Goro, conductor of the Frog Choir. It was crafted so well that no one would even think twice if you were to direct, uh, direct the Frog Choir. I hope that spring will come soon so that I can hear the frog's enthusiastic performance. Hope as I might, it's still cold. I'm, go I'm going back to Goron vil Village. And off he goes! But that's all of that. So, now we've done all that, let's head up the mountain. Up the snowhead. But that's it for this episode of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Next time, we are going to do just that and go up the mountain to snowhead. See you guys then.